Hi friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber. My name is Hannah Valentine and I thought today's adventure would be fun to vlog. So if you don't live in St. Louis or if you're not sure what Found by the Pound is, Found by the Pound is a small business in St. Louis that sells secondhand and vintage clothing. Me and my new friend Emily, who also sells vintage, we are both going to go to the Found by the Pound sale. And Found by the Pound is having a sale where if you fill a bag, uh, everything in it is 20 bucks. So if you fill, fill a bag for 20 bucks. So we're going to go to the sale. We're going to see what we can find. I'm in the car right now. I'm going to go pick her up and I'll just keep you guys updated. I'm hoping, you know, we find some great stuff. Found by the Pound usually always has some great stuff. So I am happy to take you guys along with me. Hi guys, we are here. Emily, say hi. hi. So we're gonna check out um, Found by the Pound now. Yep. I love this sign. Yeah, vintage you know style, I'm not vintage that. values. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I haven't been here in about three years, so I'm very excited to see what they have. These bags are huge. <laughs> All right, thank you, queen. All right. Ooh, this is about to be real fun. Do we put the hangers in there too? Probably not. Probably no. Yeah. But we got some tie dye in here. Over there, there's like dresses and stuff. So um, I'm gonna go over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. There's a bunch of jeans. Like, I'm gonna need to put the camera down for a minute and we're just gonna have to do a haul later. So right now I'm in the dress section and I'm not really finding anything cool. I found this really cool pink halter dress that I will show you guys at the haul at the end, but most of these dresses are very like, they remind me of like early 2000s office work vibes. Ooh, this is kind of cute though, maybe a little bit. But I'm not finding anything super crazy. We've been here for about 30 minutes now and I already filled <laughs> one bag. I apologize for not vlogging any of that. I just literally could not resist just putting the camera down and getting my hands dirty. This is kind of cute. It's like a converse dress. I'll probably get this. There's this big pile of jeans that we are currently looking through. Emily said she found me this vest, but she lost it, so we're looking for it now. Yeah. What do you think of that? Little flowers. I think that's cute. Oh, I think it's cute. The tag was ripped out though, which is tragic. It's nothing crazy. There's a lot of skinny jeans. Right? Yeah. A lot of like 2010 styles. Not too bad. Yeah, unfortunately. And Did it hot? No, it's hot. It's sweaty in here. Yeah. Here's my bag of clothing that I collected already. There's nothing crazy in here, but I will give you guys a haul when we're done. So I just found these really cute Levi's, and I'm going to show you guys a hack on how to find the year that your Levi's were made. So if you go to the tag, you flip it over, and there should be three numbers right in the or four numbers right in the middle of the tag. So right here it's 0698. That is the month and the year that the jeans were made. So these jeans were made in June 1998. So I think I will be getting these. And they are also they're also a black tab, which I don't think I've ever seen that before. Not really sure what the black tab means. The different color tabs on your Levi jeans actually like mean something like i know red is like the more common one but also orange is a little bit more rare but i've never seen a black one so if anyone knows what that means please let me know but i will be getting these so me and emily are back in the car now and it went like <laughs> it went it went it went all right and found by the pound is like a rag house and they also have a found by the pound boutique where they take all the good stuff like all the good vintage so it was very mid it kind of was just like a regular thrift store haul but i did still fill my bag and we would give a like all of what we got but it is currently it just started raining so it's raining outside since we kind of didn't really have a great haul here we are going to hit up some goodwills in the area and hopefully we can find some better stuff so we found this goodwill a couple minutes away from fountain by the pound so we are heading in there now so i was looking through the tanks and i just found this really old victoria's secret pink lace top 
I don't know what year it's from, but I love the graphic. I also found this purple tie-dye tank, which I think I'm gonna pass on, but I did wanna show you guys the tag. Like, look how cute that little tag is. This is giving Hannah Montana. <laughs> Here's an old Forever 21 tag. Hi there, friends. So it is currently the next day, and I'm gonna give you a little haul of what I found yesterday. So after the $20 sale, me and Emily stopped by two Goodwills, and I did pick up some items from there, so let me show you what I got. I've been looking for a pair of Skechers flip-flops, and I'm so happy I finally found a pair at one of the Goodwills that we went to. I love the like layered platform that it has, and I'm so happy that they fit me, and they are exactly my size. I got this Mickey Mouse top that says, have fun in 2000, and I think it's perfect because that's the year I was born, so I think I'm gonna keep it if I like how it fits. I got this little 90s lace-up top that laces up on the side. My favorite find is this gingham milkmaid dress. I also found this guest jeans baby tee in the kids section, and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. And I didn't mention this one in the video because I found it on my way out, but I found this early 2000s mini skirt, and I think it's gonna be too big for me, so it probably will end up on my Depop. All right, so here's everything that I got from Found by the Pound for their $20 sale. Everything in this bag was only $20. They have these sales, I think, three times a year. So if you live in the St. Louis area, be sure to follow them on Instagram so you can know when they have these sales. But anyways, here is what I got for $20. I found this cute little hat with little bear ears on it and a little rose but i think i'm gonna keep it and take the rose off because i just like the bear ears out of that huge pile of jeans that i showed you i did find a couple of cute ones so i found these which have really cute back pockets with grommets on it the brand for these jeans is faded glory and these will end up on my depop i also found these early 2000s really low-waisted ymi jeans I really love the wash on these when the jeans have like the bleached thighs. I really love that look. Again, these will probably end up on my Depop if they don't fit me because I'm always looking for low-waisted jeans. I got some more low-waisted jeans. These are by the brand Amethyst. Here's some more low-waisted jeans. These are by Hollister. And I love the old Hollister pieces because if you look on the inside of the zipper, it says nature's calling. And I just, they don't do that anymore. Like no fast fashion brands do that anymore. Like they're not fun anymore. They just want to make money. But I love old Hollister because it's very high quality denim and they have that cute little note in them. Plus the tag is just super cute. I showed these Levi's in the video, but these are the 90s Levi's that I found with the black tab on the back, which I still do have to do some research on. Not really sure if the black tab is rare or anything, but I do love these jeans and I love the wash on them. I got this cute little 90s nightgown with fish and ocean graphics on it. And the brand for this one is Delicate Spa. I found this cute little Converse plaid dress. I found this cute little faded glory vest with a lace collar. I love selling midi skirts and maxi skirts on my Depop, but it's always hard to find plus size skirts that are actually cute. So I'm so happy when I found this cute little blue floral skirt. And this will end up on my Depop. I believe it is a size 2XL. The brand is George. I got this cute dress by the brand Caroline Wells, and it has this cute floral design on it. This dress is by the brand Plum, and it has a paper tag, which we, we love paper tags over here. That just means that they are definitely vintage, and I just love how they look. But this pinstripe dress, totally cute, and I will definitely be... DIYing it or something. I might print like a skull on the front or something. We'll see. I got this cute geometric skirt. I got this Superman baby tee that I will be putting in my $5 bins whenever I go to my market. So at the sale, there was a bunch of pencil skirts like this, and I did grab a couple of them because I thought they would be great to chop into mini skirts. And if you do follow my brand, Go Soda on Instagram, or you just, you like my brand, you know my brand, you, then you know that I love printing on mini skirts. So I got a lot of these pencil skirts that I want to chop and print on. I found this pink fairy skirt with an asymmetrical hem. I think this is more modern, I don't think it's vintage, but the brand is Lucky and Coco. Here's a maxi dress by the brand Annex. And again, this I believe is a size extra large or even a 2XL. And I love finding plus size items that are actually cute because I know how hard it is to find plus size items. Here is a red maxi dress that I think I'm going to print on. This dress is by the brand Miss Dorby, which I've never heard of or seen before, but I loved the color and I also love the cut of it. Here is another red maxi dress that I'm going to print on. My favorite find of the day though is this Kugi winter coats. 
Not sure if it's pronounced Kugi or Kuji, but I, I pronounce it Kugi. And there's the tag. And if you're unfamiliar with the Kugi brand, the Kugi sweaters literally go for like $300. So this is a very nice brand. It was very popular in the, I guess, late 80s, early 90s. I really love this coat because I don't know if you can see, but it has rainbow stitching. So I'm gonna put this in storage and I will put this on my website which I do plan on launching this winter slash fall. Yes, I am moving away from Depop. It is official, you heard it here first. Um, I can make a video about that if you guys wanna know why I'm leaving Depop, cause like, oh, there's just so many reasons why I'm leaving Depop. But yes, I will have my own website by the end of this year, which I am very excited about. I love thrifting for my mom, so I did get her a couple items. Um, I got her this velvet top, and I also got her this cute floral top. Here is another skirt that I got, and the brand for this one is Croft and Barrow. I got this skirt that I'm gonna cut even shorter, and I'm going to print on this. This jacket I got, and it will be put into storage until the winter, where then it will be put on my website. It's from the early 2000s, and the brand is Newport News. Here's a skirt by the brand Raffaella, and it's not really my brand style, so I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I'll probably resell it to my local consignment store, but I thought it was cute and I thought I'd pick it up. Again, here's a skirt I'm gonna print on, another skirt I'm gonna print on. Here is a very cute plus size skirt and it has this cute little floral design on it. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. And the brand for this one is Venezia. This shirt doesn't have a tag, but it is this cute brown little blouse. I know this jacket might not be everybody's taste, but I've really been feeling like like this is very Bella Swan core. So it's not everybody's taste, but I love the little buckles on the side of this jacket. It's on the other side too. And I just thought that this is very, I thought it was cute. I think it's cute. You don't have to think it's cute, but I like it. And the brand is Nori. Again, I thought this top was very like 2010 core. Like, and some of you might hate me, hate me for saying that, but I feel like 2010 fashion is coming back, which it's not as good as early 2000s fashion, but I am just preparing. I found this cute little velour jacket with a little princess crown on the front. The brand is Arizona. I found this cute little denim vest with embroidered flowers on it. And the brand for this is Napa Valley. Again, here's another cute plus size skirt. This one is khaki and I've been in love with these like cargo style skirts and I'm so mad that like this isn't in my size. But the brand for this one is Adriana Sports. This skirt is by the brand Croft and Barrow. And I, again, I love this pattern. I love selling skirts. This cardigan is by the brand End Touch, and it is this 90s sparkly cardigan. So I love early 2000s prom dresses and vintage prom dresses, but they don't sell well for me in my shop. And also I feel like buying prom dresses online is really risky because you don't know if it's gonna fit you. Despite that, I still got this prom dress that I really like. Uh, the brand for this one is Zoom Zoom, which I've never heard before, but I have a collection of vintage and early 2000s prom dresses that I'm looking to sell wholesale. So if any like resellers are interested, let me know. Here is another skirt that I'm going to chop and another skirt that I'm gonna chop. This top is by the brand Aqua Blues, which is a very good 90s brand. And I'm surprised I found something by this brand, but it is this velvet top with a gray collar and gray cuffs. I found this little floral tank top. I found this 90s floral skirt by the brand Streetbox. And then last but not least, I found this velvet tank top by the brand Faded Glory. And that is my whole haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you've made it to the end. If you don't follow me on social media, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll put all of my links in the description. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.